Hello, Team Arrow Pup. Don Fielden here with Field and Arrow, the makers of the Arrow Pup kit plane. About to begin releasing kits to the public here in the good, good old USA. Want to give you a quick update on the Arrow Pup. We have it on its own, uh, three feet, so to speak, and have it rolled outside of the hangar. We're getting ready to put it on the trailer and take it up to the Sports Aviation Expo up in Deland, Florida. That takes place uh, this week, 11th through the 13th of November. The camera around here, and what you see is. Uh, is the arrow pup on its uh, on its landing gear rolled outside the hangar? Notice the wings are covered now. The the gap you see at the root of the wing is the fuel tank bay. I'm leaving that open so we can show some of the construction techniques on the wing uh, at the uh, at the Sports Aviation Expo next week. We'll just do the walk around here. We've got some carbon based uh, wing tips being formed for us. So you see the wiring for the. Uh, for the wingtip lights, they're uh, coiled up in the in the wingtip. We continue rolling around towards the front of the airplane. We have one seat installed, the pilot seat. Normally, there's two. But we took one of the seats out and having a and made a seat mold, so we can go back and reproduce those seats in a very cost-effective and rapid manner. So I left one seat in there for the purpose of the show, so people can sit in it. And the other seat we're using to make the molds. You see the engine perched proudly on its mount there with the uh, three-bladed uh, in-flight adjustable pitch propeller from, from Duke Propellers. That's a 130 horsepower UL350 IS engine. Raw horsepower, baby. Uh, we are using disc brakes, uh, individual uh, tow brakes that drive the disc brakes. You can see on the left main gear over there. And then we continue the walk around of the airplane with the covered wings you can see the corsair blue ortex 6000 covering we're using on the airplane uh, when we get back from the show we'll uh, mount the ailerons in the flaps you can see the control linkages here that's for the aileron that i just touched and this is for the flap and then we continue rolling around the back of the airplane getting close to flying we were probably about 94 five percent away from flying uh, we got to make a cowling for it and then uh finish up some wiring to get the engine run we got to run some fuel lines uh we have some we're having some special fuel tanks made up for the uh, airplane that uh, fits fits better cheaper and lighter so all 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 in the interest of developing high quality parts in a way that keeps the cost down so we can be one of the we can offer the kit at one of the lowest prices available in the U.S. market today. Okay, that's it for the tour. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you at the Sports Aviation Expo. Otherwise, reach out anytime. Don Fielding at Field and Arrow. Talk to you later. Bye.